Good morning class. Today we will start the new chapter plants in the surrounding. Around you, you can see different types of plants. Some are small in size and some are big in size. They are different with each other in shape and size. But most of the plants consist of mainly two parts. The parts are the root system and another one is the shoot system. The root system consists of roots and the shoot system consists of the stem, leaf, flowers, roots, etc. Today our topic is the leaf. Leaf is the part of the root system or the shoot system. It is the part of the shoot system. In the bowl, I am drawing a leaf. You also draw in your copy. Here, in the leaf, you can notice this flat and broad portion of the leaf. And what is the name of this flat and broad portion? This flat and broad portion is known as the lamina or leaf blade. So, what is the name of this? Lamina or leaf blade. And you can notice a tube like structure arises and go to the apex of the leaf. What is the name of this tube like structure? Thick tube like structure. This thick tube like structure is known as the midrib. And from the midrib, small tubes branches out. This small tube like structure are known as the veins. What are the small tubes like structure are known as? They are the veins. And this is the stalk. The stalk helps the leaf to attach with the stem. So what are the parts of a leaf? Stalk, leaf blade or lamina, mid rib and the veins. Now I will show you a leaf. Here you can notice the different parts of the leaf. This portion is bird. What is the name of this portion? This is the stalk and this flat broad portion is known as the lamina and this middle thick line is known as bird. It is known as the mid rib and the small branches are known as the veins. The leaf is green in color. Why it is green in color? As because here a pigment present that is known as chlorophyll. So what is the pigment name? The pigment name is chlorophyll. Now we will read the function of the leaf. In your home, your mother cooks the food in a particular room. What is the room name? Bedroom. She cooks the food in the bedroom. No. She cooks the food in the kitchen room. In the similar way, plants also prepare their food in a particular place. They prepare their food in the leaves. That's why leaf is known as the kitchen of the plant. And for cooking, your mother needs some materials like to prepare the steam rice. Your mother needs the rice, water and the gas oven. And the plants need what? To prepare their food, the plants need carbon dioxide. From where they get the carbon dioxide? Do you know that? They get the carbon dioxide from the air. So they need carbon dioxide. And water. 
water is absorbed by the roots and they need the sunlight in the absence of the sunlight they cannot prepare the food sunlight and in the presence of the pigment chlorophyll they can prepare what they can prepare the food that is known as the glucose and they give us the gas that we can breathe in that is known as oxygen and the method of their preparing food is known as food is known as photosynthesis is known as photosynthesis what is the meaning of this photosynthesis photo means light and synthesis means preparing so in the presence of light they can prepare their food that is known as the photosynthesis so what we have learned today all the students we can say we have learned today the structure of leaf and the function of the leaf so thank you all of you next day we will discuss the other parts of the plant